Quick thing up top, all of this is captured on a PlayStation 5. That's what I'm playing on. Here we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! And I've been playing some Chivalry 2, and boy, oh boy, it has been fun so far. I wanted to make a video for new players, and the reason I say new players is because I'm a new player. So, look, if you're an advanced player and you're looking for what class to choose, I don't... This is the wrong video. This is just a guy who's been playing this game for a little bit and is like, oh, this would be good for new players. So here we go. The classes, Archer, Vanguard, Footman, and Knight. And then there are specializations inside each one that unlock as you level up. But these are your four core classes. I'll start right off and say, I think for new players, there are two classes, in my opinion, that really stand out, and that is the Archer and the Footman. Let's start talking about the Archer. The Archer is a very, very basic class, and you'll know it from a lot of games that you have played. The reason you might like the archer is because it will give you time to see what's going on in the battlefield and figure out how you can help your team best by sitting back and supporting them. The issues with the archer, of course, are numerous. You're going to shoot your allies a lot, and that is not very good for your team. And you aren't super involved in the combat. I would try this class if you like playing a very ranged character in most things. So... I guess if you like using a sniper rifle, I would play as an archer. If you don't find that particularly interesting, I would try one of the melee classes. But archers are extremely good. And in fact, you'll notice in most games, they are overpicked. So the game says, no, you can't be an archer. There are too many archers on the battlefield. And it's obvious that I'm sure a bunch of great players could swarm you with archers, but to complete a lot of your objectives, you're probably not going to want to be an archer. I would definitely give it a try as one of your first classes, but I'd probably do a melee class. And that brings me to the footman, baby. I think the footman at least for me, it feels like the easiest class to pick up and play. Because you have so much reach with your weapon, I think you're in <laughs> so many scenarios where you're able to... I'm just laughing because I'm watching footage of me like throw a rock at all these things. This game is really fun. Okay. Uh, you are not as close up as the other classes. So you're in better situations to deal with the enemies and learn the combat because you don't have to be right next to them. I feel like you see people's moves telegraphed more. And at least for me, it was a better learning experience as I started to figure out how this game worked more and more. That's why I'm saying footman. I think you can do the... And by the way, I'm saying footman weird. It's like footman. Footman? 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 Okay. I think the extra range that they give and that slow wind-up time just gives you a little more time to figure out what's happening in combat. That's why I think it's a really good starter class. Also, I think it's important to mention that its special ability is a little bandage kit that you can throw to your allies. It's just good for me at least in a game when I can start by helping my teammates and kind of slowly learning how combat works. So I'd say the starting two classes, if you really want to play ranged, there's only one choice. I mean, you could throw your weapon in this game, which is also super fun. Uh, there's really only one choice, which is archer. But as far as melee is concerned, I would recommend starting with the footman. Let's talk about the other two. Footman? Footman? They say chivalry's dead, but here we are. The next class I want to talk about is the hardest class, in my opinion, to play with, at least at the beginning, and that's the Vanguard. It's a close range class, as close as possible. I'm throwing a fish in this video, by the way. So you're not going to watch me doing any good combat things. I'm just throwing a fish at all these guys. I wanted to make sure I could hit him with a fish. Look, I nailed that guy on the ground. <laughs> Killed him with a fish. It's a good game. They say chivalry's dead. So again, the Vanguard's the one I had the most trouble with 
just starting. And it's because you have to get so close to your enemies and they're able to just poke you at range. Once I got the hang of it, though, I did start to really enjoy it. But in general, I liked being further away from my opponents. One cool thing about the combat in this game is each class sort of has a different swing type that does the most damage. The archer obviously is using its arrows. The footman, 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 they say chivalry's dead. The footman swings his massive polearm in these wide arcs. So his swing attack is the strongest. And the Vanguard uses sort of an overhead swing with an ax, which is his strongest strike. And then the soldier, soldier, knight, the knight pokes people with his sword in a little real pokey fashion. So his forward stab is his strongest attack. It's pretty cool because if you notice what type of enemy you're going up against, you have a better idea of what they are probably going to attack you with. Anyway, the Vanguard's best attack is an overhand swing, which you're not watching me use because I'm just cutting people up with a little sword right now, but you get it. it. He's got a big ax and he swings it down on people's heads. And when you nail that, ooh, it's super, super satisfying and you can kill people very fast. You just got to get in there. Also, his special ability is throwing a little pot of fire at people, which is very fun and good. When you catch multiple enemies on fire at once, I mean, it's just chaos. I think after the footman, footman, the best choice would be a knight instead of the vanguard. The knight feels very much like a basic beginner class, but it doesn't have quite the range of the footman, footman. So I would recommend footman, footman instead. However, if you wanted to try the knight, I don't think you'd really go wrong. They feel pretty similar. The knight's special ability is using his little horn and healing his allies here. And all of the attacks with the knight are pretty good, even though I'm spending all my time in this video just trying to stab people in the face. I still think the large, huge swipes from that polearm are a little easier to figure out, but I mean... It's it's uh it just it's it's fun to just poke people with your sword up ah, and then I got poked by his sword. Chivalry, which is not dead, is absolutely the kind of game where you can jump in with any of these classes and start to figure it out. More importantly than anything, you've just got to hop in there and start going to town. However, I think combat-wise, the best thing you could do to start start with that footman and really start to understand how countering works and how parrying works and when you should swing your attack and how to best use the swipe of your swing sort of to scroll with that right stick. I'm playing on PlayStation 5, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier. I'll probably add in something earlier in the video where I say that. So now this part's redundant. <laughs> the magic of editing. Anyway... That's why I think you should probably start with the footman. In general, I got to say, if you're curious about picking this game up at all, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It absolutely feels like the kind of game that is easy to learn, hard to master, and you can have some incredible moments even when you're bad at it, like me. And trust me, I am quite bad at it. I have ruined some things for my team because I'm just a dummy. Look at me try to pick that guy up. Oh boy. Well, I hope that was helpful. And again, my big tips are uh, go with the footman. I would say 90% of players probably start there. And then after that, if you really, really want to play ranged, you can be an archer. But you're going to find that a lot of people in your matches pick archers. So it would probably be good to get good, get good, as they say, with one of the more basic classes, either footman or knight. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think. I love you all. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all, of course, next time. Mwah. You know, they say chivalry's dead, but...